Okay. Well, so it is March 16th, 2019, 12.50 p.m. Earlier than I typically stream, but, you know, let's go ahead and do this, shall we? Um, yeah, I, w I wanted to stream, like, right after the first stream, like, the very next day, but the, the last couple days have been kind of ridiculous, so, you know, what can you do? What can you do, but we're streaming now, it's good times. And, yeah, a, a few things I forgot to mention the first time, I think. Uh, for one thing, if you look at the uh, time, right, right there it says 53 minutes. We streamed for almost three hours. <laughs> so, basically, the time, the in-game timer is kind of weird because it only counts time. Basically, when you're moving around on the infield, it doesn't count during, like, battles or... I don't even think it counts during cutscenes. It's really weird. I've never seen a game timer like that, but that's what it is. That, that, that's how it goes, so I don't know. It's weird, but yeah. But yeah. All right, so... Actually, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and show the uh, cutscenes. But, but, but basically, there are, there are like cinematic cutscenes when you quit and when you load up a file. So I guess we'll go ahead and show those off now. So just continue playing? No, we don't want to do that. That was a little glitchy, but okay. <laughs> I don't know if I've seen this cutscene before. Because I typically don't don't like quit my game that way, but there it is. Huh. Maybe I've seen it before. Maybe on like YouTube or something. I don't know. But also, I should mention, yeah, this game. Uh, after the first game, all the Wild Arms games have. Uh, well, that's weird. Have uh, subtitles, but I think they're mainly only used in the Japanese versions. In the second game, I think I mentioned that Wild Arms 2 subtitle is Second Detonator. This one is uh, Third Strike, I believe. So, that's good stuff. Alright. So now let's load our file. Let's load our file. I guess we'll load this one, actually, because I think... I think I got a little more leveled up in this one, but otherwise it, it's the same thing. And we'll see the cut, the little cutscene thing for when you uh, load, a, load a file. Oh, the, the song is really, really good, by the way. Riding horses. <laughs> Didn't get much more wild west than that. I think at some point in the game, like when you get far enough, the cutscene you see when you load your file actually changes. I could be wrong about that, but I think so. Good times. Okay. 
Let's actually, you know, play the game now, why don't we? This is where the game really starts, so to speak. This looks kind of like the opening. The planet Filgaia is slowly rotting, its once lush vegetation withering away. As if that wasn't enough. All sorts of predators roam the desert and prey on innocent people. Yet these are some willing to brave this wasteland to seek their fortunes. These folks are known as drifters, not dream chasers, drifters. But they're basically the same thing. This is a good song, by the way. I can pretty much say that about pretty much any song, but you know. It kind of looks like we're, we're starting over again, almost. I like how it's kind of in black and white there. Like grain stuff. Oh, looks like we finished the game. All right. Well, hope you guys enjoyed this game. It was a lot of fun to do. Cool to show it off. Huh. Much like in the first two games, you get kind of a credit sequence after like the prologue stuff. Ah. That's some good Baja Blast. Yeah, I figured I would stream earlier today, because I've been wanting to stream this game so bad, but things just keep coming up. I know I'm going out to Taco Bell tonight for dinner, so I figured I would stream before that. Get some good progress in. I've just really been hyped up for streaming this game. You know what I'm talking about? So I guess it's kind of showing how the different characters really got into the train. That's, that's kind of cool. Yeah. yeah. Like I probably mentioned before, this game has some really nice camera work. Things that the first two games didn't really have. I mean, they weren't really 3D, so, you know kind of hard to do that, but, but yeah. Yeah, yeah running this game, I mean, this game is, is, is pretty demanding on your hardware, so even with a powerful computer, it's not always going to run perfectly, but I think it runs pretty good considering. I have an i5, so I did have to do some tweaks to, to, to make it run better, but, you know. I have to actually run it on software because when, when it's running on hardware, it, it runs a little faster, but for some reason the character sprites are literally invisible, so... Yeah, that's, that's certainly no good. Alright, here we go. What now? I think someone's on the roof. Yes, I must agree. I believe this person... Blah, blah, blah. Would somebody like to volunteer to go up and investigate? I hate auto-scrolling text so much. You're joking, right? Don't look at me. I'm not as naive as to turn my back on a stranger. Very well, then. I shall take the lead. Please, but please escort the young lady on your way up. Huh. There is a boss fight coming up, though, by the way. But it's not... It's not too bad. I mean, it can be, especially if you haven't done much leveling up in the prologues, but it's not too bad. See, there's the blue-haired antagonist I told you about. We're going to be seeing these three a lot. Heh, looks like we got company. You guys sure don't look like guardsmen's to me. Who are you, anyway? And you, punk. Didn't I see you kick the window and break into the cabin? Don't tell me you blokes are all drifters going after the same treasure. 
something like that. Yes, we have been hired to guard the treasure. At least that holds true for me. We are here to protect the goods from ruffians such as yourself and to deliver the goods to the rightful owner. I kindly ask that you withdraw. I would like to avoid any bloodshed and un unnecessary expense if at all possible. We welcome unnecessary bloodshed, and we're not paying the expenses. Okay, we take care of business here. That's a hefty reward waiting to roll right in. We don't have any time to play. I don't know why I added any there, but... I'd like to avoid the unnecessary bloodshed part, though. Hooligan. Oh! I wonder who they're working for. You're very sharp. By the way, how's your shooting? I'll do my best. Glad to hear. I'll be counting on you. And you too. I ask for your assistance as well. What are you plotting? So you plan to bite the dust or bite the bullet and face us? He's got a clock. What's up with that? Listen, time is money. Let's get started already. But boss, we're one short without Lucio, you know. I don't think we should bite off more than we can chew. You blokes, just do as I say. Or do you have a problem with that? You want to end up dead like Lucio? Psych yourself up. Shut your fly, Dario. Janus Cascade, we're ready to wreak havoc. Assume positions. How did I get myself into this? I mean, we just met two seconds ago, and now we're all buddy-buddy teaming up together. I mean, come on. Hey, is anyone listening to me? Stop rambling. We have to work together. Yes, ma'am. So, I like how it kind of transitions right into the battle. So, this is Janice, Dario, and Romero. We're going to be seeing them a lot. They both have a... They both? All three of them have about 300 HP. I think Janice has, like, 330. You want to make sure you take out Janice last... Otherwise, you'll miss out on Dario and Romero's experience, money, and item drops. I think they both drop heal berries, so... You want to take them down. Um, Dario is probably actually one of the most dangerous. He has a physical attack that can do over, over 30 damage, so... You definitely want to take him out. I like how we're fighting on top of a train. That's just awesome. Oh, yeah. Jeez. Starting out with lots of crits. Multi-blast is, is probably the most dangerous attack. That's kind of like Ashley's multi-blast from Wild Arms, too. Oh, uh, is everyone okay? It's not auto-scrolling. Virginia can use the Force ability Mystic by expending 25 FP. Mystic is an ability where an effect from a single item can be applied to multiple targets. Hey, you got your healing powers right here, too. I can restore everyone's health in one shot, so just give me a holler. Yeah, keep that in mind. Great, thanks. Let's all work together. Another crit? Are you kidding? What is going on with that? Boom! I like how the only person that doesn't crit is the person with the highest crit rate. That makes sense. Yeah, so obviously, HP-wise, Virginia is, is in the most danger of actually going down. So, that's kind of a thing. Basically, ju just attack. That's all you really need to do. I guess you could use magic with uh, Gallows if you want. Doesn't really matter. Throwing star! Zero damage. Shoot him! He Another crit! He's done. Goodbye, Dadio. Pressure! Yeah, so just go for... J go, go for Janus last, so you get all the experience and such. Boom, boom, boom. You don't really need to... You, you need to reload, though. Raw Let's try refrigerate. Although we do have some revive fruit, so if, if Virginia goes down, we can deal with that. But I'd rather not have to use them. But it's unlikely a anybody else will end up going down. Oh, 
Boom! Reload! There you go. Should probably heal up Virginia now. Romero. Well, we can't use extension yet, so we'll just go ahead and heal Virginia. Oh, but she won't get hit first. Of course she did. Of course! Why not? You know that was bound to happen. Well, somebody gets healed. It's kind of interesting. Both Dario and Romero only have a... Well, that takes care of Romero. Only Dar Dario and Romero only have two attacks, while Janice has three. Which is pretty ridiculous, but... Go ahead and use a revive fruit. Bum bum bum. Revive fruit. I was hoping I wouldn't have to use one, but... There it is. Doesn't exactly heal much. Zero. Clive just has too much defense. Not much is actually going to hurt him. He is a freaking tank, so... I'll use a heal berry since Virginia is the fastest, so... Heal Betty. Might as well make use of it. Yeah, so this boss fight is pretty much like an introduction to using all four characters in a battle. We can do a little... I guess we could do Gatling. Why not? Unneeded, but I guess we can. Shoot! Boom! Yeah! Heretic stab! He's a freaking heretic! You believe this guy? Gatling! Nice. That probably would have killed him by itself. <laughs> the reward might not be worth the risk this time around. Not bad, Princess. What do you say you quit that measly little team and come join us? Thanks, but no thanks. I don't hang out with thugs. Yeah. Thugs, lighten up, Princess. We're all drifters here, aren't we? My, my. Would you look at the time? It's time for us to bid adieu. Hope to see you soon. We're not through with you yet. I think we are. So we get 200 Gala, 56 experience, two heal berries, and then you automatically get a mini carrot regardless, so. Virginia levels up, and so does Gallows. They definitely need to. Gallows breaks 200 HP. Virginia is in desperate need of HP, though. Hmm, well, what's that noise? They're making their getaway. But I guess we did manage to protect the treasure. So long, princess. See you around. Guess they got on a different train. Oh, I forgot just how much I love this game. It's so good. My apologies for all the trouble. Please report any damages to my client. I shall arrange it so you will be compensated. That's the box with all that mysterious light, right? What was that, anyway? The light. It had some sort of warmth to it. Those thugs were after it. What you saw, young lady, was the spark of the Arc Scepter. The sacred artifact used to communicate with the power that sustains the world. The power that sustains the world? 
So that's what they were after. I'm sure they were working for someone. I love how that train looks, by the way. There it goes. Sure was a stormy night, wasn't it? Pretty much. So this is what I get for helping out. Stuck in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> Jet. We seem to have missed our stop while taking care of business. Now we're stuck. <laughs> okay, what now? I must deliver the goods to my client. I believe you might know where that is. Well, uh, yeah, I guess. Yeah, Gallows does. Go northwest of here to a small village at the foot of the mountain. It's a place called Basker. If I may add, it's actually my hometown. Well, since we're all here, what do you say we all go together? I was just in it for the ride, but it's not a bad idea to reap the rewards. Let's see, where shall we begin? It'd be great if the auto-scrolling could stop. I freaking hate that. I know, let's introduce ourselves. You know, because we're just complete strangers, so... Well, that one wasn't auto-scrolling. And it lets you drop a save. How cool is that? Bum, bum, bum.